Hello, everybody. I'm Danny. And I'm Carolina. And this is Serving with Purpose. Yeah, and before Danny introduce our amazing, amazing guest, today I have some messages for you guys. So we are every Tuesday on YouTube, and the prior Thursday we are on Reality Network. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Yes. Just go and use the code SERVE, and you got $10 off. And you're gonna be part of this amazing community of reality shows. And Peter is doing an amazing job. Don't miss the opportunity. Let's go. Shout out to Peter Madrigal. Love you, Peter. <laughs> go ahead, Danny. All right, you guys. Okay, so we have a very, very special guest yeah. today. Uh, her hit song, Self Control, hit number one on the Billboard Dance Club song chart. Wow. Her other hit song, Thriller Killer, has over 2 million views on YouTube. Uh, her other single, Self Love Symphony, reached number one on America's Shakers and Movers charts. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to singer, songwriter, and actor, Kendra Erica. Woo! Yes! Come on, Kendra! Kendra. Yes. Come on, Katie! Yes. Welcome, my love! Thank you. That was such a warm introduction. Yay! Yeah, I feel all like, I feel the Fahrenheit rising. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I love it. And you look amazing, by the way. I oh, love the whole you. NASCAR thank look. You. you are nailing that. Thank you. Well, there there are no sponsors on this jacket because you cannot buy me. <laughs> I know that's <laughs> right. Oh, I love that. Let's... Excuse me. You can buy me. <laughs> can you sponsor me, please? <laughs> we have a promo code for this one, too. <laughs> You are amazing, but you bring up a really, really interesting topic because in the business here, uh, music industry, Hollywood, entertainment, yeah. you're going to have tons of propositions. Yeah. Let's just jump right in. Like, Let's jump right yeah, in. Yeah, let's get to the nitty gritty of yes. entertainment in Hollywood. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> have you ever been propositioned? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, I I have in, in you know, very minor ways but not to you know the the extent of oh here's a bohemian grove invite right you know why don't you come right <laughs> there's a right. lot of liars you know yeah yeah not like real propositions you know? yeah i'll take your career to the next level just come follow me right behind this door yeah <laughs> like, you well, know? or like leave your clothes at the door right leave those um, at the door. <laughs> on the casting couch right on, on the casting couch <laughs> um i mean i have gotten invites to 4 a.m parties Oh, and, yeah. and and we know nothing and goes I, hotel good room there. Once, once there I awesome, hear right? once I hear four a.m. and the word underground, I pass. Yeah, that's a hard pass, right? Hard no pun intended. No hard pass. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So okay. So what inspired you to become a singer, a songwriter? What What was your inspiration? Well, in the beginning, I, I knew that this is what I wanted to do because when I was little, my parents put me in front of the TV and I wanted and I watched a bunch of the, the Disney movies mm -hmm. and watching mm -hmm. watching the princesses sing and dance. Mm -hmm. I, I, I I was like, that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So um, but the pro the problem was is that especially when it came to entertaining my parents and their friends at their dinner parties where they had to bring out extra bottles of wine to tolerate me <laughs> because <laughs> I was tone deaf. Let me talk right now. Okay. I was tone deaf for, like at at a young age. Oh, really? Yeah. So You're I a little bit off key. I Just I was little. I was like I had the I had the confidence and but that's that's only more than half the battle right. but not the not the instrumental skill set so mm. i was introduced to a, a professional german opera singer at the age of eight oh, wow. and he laid mm. down the foundation and because i was at such um an amenable age mm. i was able to absorb all of that all of that training i mean that's mm. why they say the the best the best years to learn a language mm -hmm. are in your in your primitive years yeah so because your brain is just mm -hmm. such a sponge yep. so i absorbed all of that classical training and being that it was classical training it laid such a strong foundation for me to build on top of so then i started in getting involved more in community theater because at that point i 
was singing on key. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> You're from Florida, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, mm-hmm. and I, I then uh, I got into like school productions, and then mm-hmm. I was speaking of propositions when I was 15. Um, my family and I went to this local Italian restaurant mm-hmm. called Renzo's, mm-hmm. and every Sunday evening they they had karaoke. Mm-hmm. So at 15 years of age, I got up and I did Andrea Bocelli's Time to Say Goodbye. Wow. I did the Step Brothers Catalina Wine Mixer song. No <laughs> way! Did everyone did. shed a tear like that one single tear? They 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 they, they got some salty tears going. <laughs> um, right, I but, bet. It just uh, sounds so beautiful. Well it, I could picture it. Oh <laughs> I think I have some I think I have a, a, a video somewhere. But um so after that I got a I got a standing ovation because I was 15 and I was singing this you know course, this monstrous classical. song right. and then after that uh Renzo comes over he's like this old Sicilian dude he's like he's like comes over with two glasses of wine for my parents and he's like I have a proposition <laughs> <laughs> I want you to give me your daughter. And he's you know? like, <laughs> my accent was horrible, by and the of way. Course, but, okay. And of course, at that at that at that point, it, like he set the tone, and it was like, I have a proposition, two glasses of wine. It's like, uh, uh, what's like, yeah. what, what's this whole Godfather thing gonna happen? Right. Um, and he said, he said, I lost my son. They sing, or she got the knocked up, and uh, you know, <laughs> like. I, <laughs> I need somebody to, to, fill, uh, to, to fill the position. <laughs> yes. So can you accept this proposition? Right. <laughs> so um, I instantly took it because I would be dumb not to. Right. And it and actually it helped shape my my performance uh, my performance pathway. But once I got once I got that job, I I was for oh. I was there from age 15 to, to 21 but when I first got the job uh, my mom and I we went home and my mom was like you're gonna have to build up your, your repertoire so that's when I I I built up or or I learned so many you know Frank Sinatra songs yes. all the jazz songs because especially in Boca Raton Florida Boca you, Raton you have you have a lot of a lot of those uh, New Yorkers mm-hmm. you know New Englanders oh, yeah. That, that, yeah. that have come down and they live there or they're vacationing yep and that's that's their that's their jam of course that, like that's what they have like a, a liking to is yes. that is those those their old, beach house yeah mm-hmm. is, are those old american songbook mm-hmm. uh, pieces so i had to build up my repertoire with all the jazz standards light uh like sade mm-hmm. oh you all of speaking that. my language uh, now all of that up stuff. On sade. so <laughs> when i when i t- when i was starting to perform at that at that restaurant then other owners from different establishments in boca would come in and they and they would also uh, they would, you know, rope me in to perform at their restaurant. So I just built a, a good, uh, a good circuit or a good, mm-hmm. um, a yeah. good f- a community performance flow. Yes, from doing oh, that. Awesome. That is so, so awesome. Yeah. It was just word of mouth. Now, like, hey, have you guys heard Kendra Erica? It was, it was she word of is mouth. fire. <laughs> like, yeah. we need her. Fire, fire. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Good for you. So, so that's how. So you've been performing literally earlier then because you did the high school music like the broad the broadway or mm-hmm. well the high school productions yeah and started there and then immediately at 15 went into performing at performing, restaurants like and frequently then it, like yes. like exercising that muscle and and those and those chops because i'm always curious like so. where it comes from a, ro- a hobby to a, a profession exactly. so right. for you it was very natural you started working like right away I yeah I I I did I I <laughs> shot right out of the barrel. <laughs> right, I love that. It just naturally happened. Yeah, it naturally <laughs> happened. Um, but when I when I was I was singing so many covers, I I, I was always fascinated with the songwriting process. So simultaneously, I then started my songwriting uh, journey, and mm-hmm. I was introduced to some producers down in Miami and then I f- wrote my first singles and oh my god if you saw the the photos I was like bubblegum <laughs> I, 
I was I was blonde. Thin I was ble- I was I was like Lizzie McGuire blonde. Ew, <laughs> you know? That is so cute. I couldn't even yeah. imagine. But yeah, I was I was very like I was very poppy back then because of course, you know, your influences are, you know, of the the Disney right. caliber and all that. Yes. So I I wrote my first singles with these producers out in, in, in Miami and then I was introduced to another producer in Miami and I wrote more stuff with him and then I was introduced to a team in New York and I wrote and then that's when my my look and sound started to change more from bubblegum to more like minty fresh because I then was starting to take more of that Lana Del Rey uh, uh, avenue Mm -hmm. uh, because I was mature I I was maturing and I was like shedding the um shedding the old and shedding the disney yeah so and then from there then from the the new york team then i was introduced to a gentleman out here jason dowman who was instrumental in my billboard success and shout out to jason shout out to jason Mm dowman and he then introduced me to because he at that at that point i just was like hitting a wall with the team in, in new york i wasn't Nothing was really like breaking through, and he said, "You know, why not?" He said, "Not, not ditch those writers, but just let's let's have you like redirect your focus. And why, why, why don't you come out to Los Angeles and work with the collaborators and creatives that I know and producers?" And so that's when I made the um, the the journey out here, and then I was back and forth constantly. Mm. From that point on, I was... They asked uh, you to come to L.A. or you just thought there was like a next step or next move come to L.A.? I think it was it was a combination. Uh, they they asked me to come out, like Jason asked me to come out, and also mm-hmm. I, I felt like that was the, the, the next move. I felt mm-hmm. like called or like pushed um, mm-hmm. to, to come out here. And then for, for eight years until I permanently moved out here I was bi-coastal so mm-hmm. I was flying I was doing back and forth from Florida to LA um even before the pandemic I was here like twice a month like once a month wow. so I was here wow. a, a lot and I racked up a a good jet blue uh, I know, right. travel you mile fly your mouth for that ass huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love it that's so. good for you so okay so that brings me to my next question <laughs> because oh for all of you guys who don't know I work at Sir um and Kendra Erica graces us every single Tuesday <laughs> with her beautiful presence and her song and all her music and she just kills it every single oh, Tuesday you. and thank with you. her own hit songs that she wrote and you know and all that and performs so how go did to you sir yeah go, to, to, sir. go to sir and Wes, okay I will and serve Kendra. you and she will serve you the vocals honey <laughs> and I'll be drinking <laughs> and she'll be drinking and enjoying the show mm, yes. <laughs> so how did you get in touch with Guillermo Zapata Yay. Guillermo shout out um. shout out to Guillermo that's my boss <laughs> guys by the way and his beautiful wife natalie hi natalie hey um so i when i was first coming out here i was aware of the of uh lisa vanderpump yes. i was i was Shout aware out. i was aware of, of lvp yes um, and i was also aware of the of the 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 show mm-hmm. and and i and it was and i don't I can't really say that it was like the the show primarily that drew me to Sir, but I was also really intrigued by um, just the the ambiance and the the mm-hmm. like the decor and just mm-hmm. I it's I, a vibe it's huh? a it's yeah. it's a vibe that 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 really drew me and also I I respect uh, Lisa and her and her um you know and her empirical. Yes. Uh, accomplishments. Oh, man. So, and counting. <laughs> and counting. <laughs> you know, as we speak. <laughs> um, so I, I I would come into Sir, just chill, have a cocktail, enjoy the the the, the energy, the vibe. Mm-hmm. And um, that, like, I, I would do that pretty, um, like, here and there. And then uh one night uh Guillermo comes over and we start talking and I said you know I'm actually a singer I'm a recording artist and he was like oh very nice Mm -hmm. and then and then 
he he said, why don't you give one of your songs to the DJ, DJ Mickey? Mm. Uh, Shout saying. out to my Mickey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he said, why don't you give your song to the DJ and why don't you get up and sing? And I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> already, why not? I, I, I already had my cocktail in me. I was like, let's go. Let's, let's do go. It. Oh, it's already uh, martini too. Dirty martini. That's my dirty girl. <laughs> Uh, so I got I I got up. DJ Mickey was so accommodating because you know uh, isn't how, he a sweetheart? Because you know how mo- most DJs are like I don't have a Wi-Fi. I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't have a USB. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. but he was like very accommodating. He was he was what we call professional. Yes, uh, he is. He is. He's the picture of that. So I I got up and I did I did Rapture. Yes. Um, and and after I did that. Uh, Everyone was just like, you know, like, yeah. Boing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw the stars coming out. I saw the, yeah, all the money coming in his head. He saw all the possibilities. They were endless. <laughs> so um, then I I would come in again and and it would be the same thing. Oh, like, oh, okay, why don't you get up and sing? Yeah. DJ Mickey once again. Oh, yeah, I've got Rapture already programmed in. Let's go. Oh, oh look at so, that. Yeah, so no, he's really uh-huh. a sweet guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I, I did that. And then um, and then for some reason, I think one night I got up and I did um, – a fan of the opera. Oh. My my dance version. Uh-huh. And because at that point I was I was feeling a little bit zealous. Yes. I was feeling a little bit, you know, yes. a little bit. I got some extra in me. Let's go. Huh? A, a little <laughs> bit on the envelope pushing side. <laughs> <laughs> so I got up and I did fit with the opera. And I was like, I just want to see if uh, at that last note, if this chandelier does come down. Right. Like, right. Right. Exactly. I want to I wanna test uh-huh. the theory. Yes. So I did that. And then yes. <laughs> and then. Um, I, I feel the, the the feedback from Camero increased <laughs> 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 upon upon singing that. Yes, for and sure. um, then then he said, "Oh, you know, we're having a Halloween party. This was like 2022." He said, yeah. "We're having a Halloween party. Why don't you come in and do the the Phantom of the Opera because it was going to be yeah. ma- masquerade theme? Oh, and exactly. What oh, what cool. what better uh-huh. fit yeah. a musical fit to have that? So I did their Halloween party and then." I I came back for I was asked to do their their Christmas party and then um and then uh all of most of 2023 just got really hectic for me. I was mm-hmm. just like busy with like personal stuff and and mm-hmm. with professional stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I just saw um that they were doing their Halloween party again and I DM'd uh, Guillermo and I said Hey, do you want do you, do you need me to throw down some Phantom? Yeah. <laughs> At the What's up with the Phantom this year? <laughs> so and he said he said, "Why don't you come on?" He he said, "Yes, would would love that." Mm-hmm. And then after after I did that Halloween party, he said, "You know, Tuesday night just opened up because uh, you know, uh, Mr. Kennedy was Mr. Kennedy has been taking off mm-hmm. and uh to the Tuesday night opened <laughs> up and uh, he said, "Why don't we make this uh, your a night?" Thing. Exactly. So that's that's how that happened. So you replaced James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Did wow. I replace James? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or see you next Tuesday. Yes. You know, we're gonna see Kendra Erica every Tuesday. I almost how wanted to, to call it a uh, like see you Tuesday. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not nice. Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, it's well, yeah. <laughs> it could be. Right? Oh, yeah. Why? And you? Okay. Oh yeah. I guess. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it though. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> and so did our audience. You guys love us. <laughs> let's let's use our astrophysics to phys- fig- figure this out. Right. Like, right. <laughs> All three of us. Let's yeah. see if we can do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So when you came to LA, mm-hmm. you know how everyone you hear all of these stories about LA and everyone hears horror stories. Yeah. Did you hear horror stories about LA before you no. came? You were just like, Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> you were gonna, we were scared no, of no, you. I, I think you were the horror. No. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> I know. We should have been warned. No, she is the best. <laughs> came with a vengeance. So did you, anything in L.A., um, did it shock you? How did you feel when you first got here? How were the people versus 
Florida and here and then Germany mm-hmm. even yeah. like how what is what are the differences for you um well when I first when I first got here mm-hmm. I was just going with the flow mm-hmm. and then just over time you start to file out who your true people are mm-hmm. and it and it's been it's been a process of seeing seeing um the legit versus the fake friends the the mm-hmm. the, the, the posers yes um the the mm-hmm. walkers versus the talkers mm. so oh i love that yeah and it also it all because i i find myself to be a very observational and perceptive person so it really strengthened my um my uh diagnostic uh evaluations of people discernment and discernment Mm it's like it's really strengthened that and really and well refined it Mm -hmm. um but in in florida i i would get a little a little bit of that but when i came out here that's when it really the the lessons were were um bestowed <laughs> yes they yeah. were i'm telling you oh they will promise you the world out here and oh i know this person and oh i know that person and yeah yeah people like from i'm originally from la born and raised mm-hmm. and still live and everyone says oh la you know you get this bad rap about la but i'm like no the people that are originally from la we are true blue and we're cool. You know what I mean? It's yeah. the but that's transplants. very rare to find it's somebody the transplants. From LA. Yeah, yes. from LA, yeah. exactly. Even if you find another Americans here, they're from all over. CDs. This yeah. is like the melting pot. You mm-hmm. know, California definitely is California and New York for sure. Yeah. And then now, yeah, Florida it's, too. It's the transplants that are the most affected. Yes, <laughs> yeah. they are. But they're the ones that give us the bad name. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I'm just born and raised in LA. Everyone that I know, we are true blue. You know, the man, I don't know so much. You know, my man is from New York. I had to, <laughs> I got lucky. I know. <laughs> I know. Shout out I want to date a guy. Because <laughs> they don't make him like my dad anymore you know what i mean not out here but like literally it's the other people that come from everyone else you know everywhere else that kind of give la a bad name and sometimes when it comes to you know the oh i could do this for you and now i could change your career and you know all of that smoke you know what i mean all of that smoke (laughs) yeah and i was i was was just gonna say like when um yeah when when i've I've had like personal, like you know, like per- personal like relationships, mm-hmm. and I've been like, okay, dude, like you're from, you're from Ohio or you're from the Midwest, like why are you so flaky? Like, right, <laughs> right. They didn't teach you anything, right? I thought like, they, like, we were strong in morals, you like, know, in the like, Midwest, I, I thought, and, uh, and a man huh? of your word, right? So, so <laughs> that that just shows that you ain't a pillar okay right right (laughs) you don't have no fortification exactly (laughs) right (laughs) that steel right (laughs) yeah (laughs) no foundation or fortification. yeah you you. ain't working in this in the steel in the steel uh fields you know (laughs) right steel mart or this whatever whatever it's called oh no i got Uh, you the the the, the mines or yeah What, yeah, uh, whatever that. it is um <laughs> but um how's as, your how's your dating life how's my dating life yes you love I, yes <laughs> you already know i'm like the people want to know honey yeah well all i have to say is a private a private life is a happy life yes i know that's right because, can i use that yes because i'm no you're not gonna do that okay. <laughs> well because as soon I always, she says no. I always say as soon as, as soon as, um, yeah, it like you have to be like really, really solid in anything that you want to take public because yes. just like, just like yeah. a company, your company has to like has to be so fortified and like in, in order for you to then take it public. Yes. Because as soon as you take any relationship public, everyone is gonna have a stake in it. Everyone exactly. is gonna have a, a stock in it. Everyone's yes. gonna have an opinion of it. And they're gonna have something to say. So you need to be like really strong in that dynamic so that, you know, if if icebergs are thrown, your Titanic ain't be gonna be sinking. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. So, no, very that true. true. Yeah. That was the reason why I never like I've been married twice and nothing to show for it on Instagram or social media or Facebook, nothing. I've never posted like my significant other 
until and but I'm going to though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going now to. Now it's fortified. Yeah, now yeah. it's fortified. It's strong, enough. It's strong <laughs> enough now to go public. I already knew that it yeah. was like a <laughs> it was a reason a season. It wasn't a lifetime, you know. So I was like, I'm not going public. I didn't know that at the time, you know, it was just for the same reasons that you don't privacy, you know, cuz people always are throwing jags or, you know, yeah. um daggers or you know, throwing salt. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, it, in your relationship? and it's not just like the 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 um the concrete or tangible comments that people say too. Like there's a such thing as an evil eye out there. It is. There, like is. people, and there is like a competition when like the guy's single, nobody cares. Then he's with you. Oh then they, my they wanna, goodness! You know, they want to no have what you have. No one even thinking you know? about the guy until yeah. you get with him. You know yes. what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Have you like, ever experienced then, that? It's like, oh, the termites are coming out of the woodworks. Yes, like, they <laughs> are. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All of a sudden, just because all you of a get sudden. them, yeah, yeah. All, <laughs> so, all, this, all, all of a sudden, because you're you're you now categorized unavailable. It's now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's exactly now. what I want now. Yeah. I woke yeah. up wanting that's that. The challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, they don't even the, want the you. They just want to like the. They don't yeah. want you to have them. Or, yes, yeah. uh -huh. exactly. That is the craziest thing. But as as far as like when when you said when you said people will promise you the world like mm -hmm. I will do this I'll do that. Mm -hmm. What I have always found is that especially when it comes to like producers or people that have like these I. The idea men, the mm -hmm. idea people. Oh yeah, idealist. Yeah, the, the, my the, the, idealist, the, idealist. Those yeah. idealists, <laughs> they always come and they say, "Oh, you know, this person worked with, you know, Bieber, Gaga, yep. you know, Beyonce. Oh, th yep. oh, this person just did the latest uh, Swift record." I'm like, mm -hmm. "Who gives a, yes. like, okay, great for them for working with those people, but do they really know?" what's good for me right. can they really vibe with me right. just because you work with so-and-so doesn't mean that you're gonna work with this hoe <laughs> right exactly she said because i'm kendra erica okay and i heard all the aforementioned names <laughs> but that name is right there too <laughs> yeah. yeah can they work with me huh i yeah. love that good for you so and and it's it's all about just finding your tribe mm -hmm. finding the, the people who align with you that's the that's the number one thing and now moving into this new this new chapter of my life mm -hmm. I've like I've turned the page and I'm now moving into this new chapter but it's I I'm I now have zero tolerance for anybody that even shows just like you know a little wave of a red flag I'm like mm -hmm. no, no I don't have time no no thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so that's why I yeah that that discernment is gonna be uh, more of a force to be reckoned with <laughs> yes exactly oh so, yeah dang okay so I was gonna say what where do you see yourself in a year in everyone a says five I want to do a year next year where are you gonna be Kendra Erica uh, well, I will say I, I always I always revert back to this this um, this kind of answer, but I'm gonna say just an elevated version of what I'm doing now. I love that. So, and wherever that takes you, you right? And wherever that takes you, because, on the way to the top. Because I, <laughs> you know, I've I've had certain mapped out things in my head when I was little, and guess what? Those didn't pan out. But there's a reason for that, and that's because. God was protecting me. Exactly. It wasn't so for you. It was something for better me. for you. Mm -hmm. Something better. Exactly. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I have a question. Are yeah, you an I, I was about to say. <laughs> no. I know Carolina has a question. I didn't want to hog the mic. <laughs> Are you an actor as well? Am I a what? An, an actor? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What have you worked on? Um, I shot a pilot last summer called the, the Cherry Picker with mm -hmm. a, a a content creator and producer by the name of Ciro DiPaggio. Mm -hmm. yeah, he uh, he put out um, his most uh, latest and greatest work is the is the Mob King. Mm -hmm. um, he's He's like the new Quentin Tarantino and um, and Scorsese. Yes. Um, oh, I love that combo. Right. Huh? But uh, he, I, I did this this pilot with him, and it's called the the Cherry Picker, and it's it's funny that it was so relevant to the times of when the strike was happening because. Mm -hmm. 
you know, th- th- there's oh, there there are a plethora of reasons why the strike happened, mm-hmm. but one of the reasons was is because of the unoriginality that has plagued Hollywood. Because the uh, a lot of the the writers out there have been lacking originality, and that's why they've been cherry picking on others. Uh, mm. other people's ideas or mm. stealing you know pieces oh, of this uh-huh. and stealing piece, pieces of that mm. um and it's 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 about a um a, a, an executive who is who is your your prolific uh you know slime ball mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i mm-hmm. play his i play his edm pop star girlfriend mm-hmm. like i play no. i play uh-huh. a version of myself if my morals were non-existent okay <laughs> so um, like a metaverse a, a metaverse yeah right. i play i play the more um maleficent for her version of myself yes um, that sounds fun but no. that's not it, oh, it, it is um it's it's Seriously. it's fun to be on the on the not so nice side yes. <laughs> it's fun right um, welcome to the dark side oh, i love it oh I, i've got one it's the there. water's warm over here <laughs> no. I, i've got one it's there but that that's only because i'm a. Uh, Oh, I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, come on, Kendra. Oh, um, <laughs> I thought you were not. I'm just out of here. She's yeah. not of this Surprise. world. Surprise. You're just Surprise. talking to AI She's a right now. <laughs> I know. You're talking to AI right now. Um. Speaking of AI, and and with these scripts and everything, how yeah. do you feel like AI has um, you know affected Hollywood in writing mm. to go with your mm-hmm. story? You know, with the cherry pickers. Yeah, it's. There is a dosage for AI. There is a dosage for it. Got it. Um, I think it's great when it comes to graphics, Mm -hmm. when it comes to production to sort of heighten certain things or make it more stimulating. Mm -hmm. Um, However, I don't agree with it taking jobs from people. There you go. That's where I draw the line because AI Mm -hmm. cannot emote anything thank you exactly humans can emote I don't think that's gonna happen and and i yeah. and i i really do think that ai is now making people a little bit on the lazy side because yes. technology be technology yeah. is supposed to make your life easier not lazier yes i love that so that's why i'm i'm at i i'm just at, at this point like it like you have you have those ideas and we all have ideas in, inside of us but like it really takes that that um that deep dive to really pull it out and I, but i mean that's the definition of of hard work and smart work mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. and not relying on a on a computer or something that's artificial my definition of ai is actual intelligence <laughs> oh i love that not so, artificial not artificial <laughs> so love but that's that. that's my that's my personal standpoint on on ai like it's it's cool for graphics it's cool for like little production little tweaks and enhancements but mm-hmm. as far as the entire like pulling a a, a ideologue cre- uh, creation and um and storytelling that's mm-hmm. That comes from humans. That doesn't come from, you know, a, yeah. a, a, a metaverse. Right. Exactly. So. Exactly. I think there is a space for everybody. Some people want this. Some people want a real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People getting tired of the perfection of the internet now. So we're yeah. getting a time to like, you want to see real thing. That's why I subscribe to Reality Network. Yes. Because yeah. that's Reality real Network. people there. Yes. Real people. <laughs> <laughs> you think robots are going to replace <clears throat> servers? Oh, gosh. I certainly hope not. I already saw something, and I think it was in Japan where they are like, here. I, yeah, are they here? Yeah, in the I mall, know. like the Japanese oh restaurant. God. Yeah, stop. <laughs> See, no. Yeah, and I saw that, and then like I saw them. <laughs> Like it was one of them that were they were doing like a demonstration, you yeah. know, and it was just showing and he was picking up a box and somebody came and kicked it over and it just kind of fell down. 
<laughs> so and Connor so just me. picked himself back up <laughs> and then just went on about you know trying to put the <laughs> box back on again and somebody came and kicked his ass again Why? because just to see what it would do you know because somebody's gonna kick it I mean you know oh like my, my somebody wake up. in this world <laughs> is going to kick that thing to see it's what happens yeah like wait, wake up like just, <laughs> right. like just to see if it turns into Will Smith I Robot right exactly yeah. something literally so literally literally like like that <laughs> um but i have seen um like years ago in um also in japan they were uh they were creating nurses like robotic nurses that could mm-hmm. show like you know grief and like oh different God. emotions <gasps> and their faces and everything mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, they can show emotion, but do they actually have emotion? Right. No, no, no. Of they course don't. No. Yeah, <laughs> they can say, look surprised. And you're, oh, you know, oh. oh. <laughs> Smile, you're sad. Oh, you have erectile <laughs> dis- dysfunction? Oh. oh. Like, <laughs> Oh, uh, don't, don't get don't get me sorry because that that's it because there, there are so men are going to be very happy there, yeah. there, are men, there are certain men with fetishes out there with 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 ro- yeah. robot uh with <laughs> with robots if anything. Yeah, with little with, with avatars anything. <laughs> little avatars i know yes i'm sure it's some women too <laughs> some i'm women. sure it's some women too. i know <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, it's yeah. <laughs> it's going to it's going to become an episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> I know. I know. I know literally no. It's kind of scary. I don't know where, you know, it's going as far as that. Yeah. So, yeah, like I mm, I don't know. We'll just stay tuned and see. I was like, man, wherever I'm at. Yeah, the future in my me. world and Danny's world all is well. That's all I could do. You know, ignorance is bliss. I just I just want <laughs> Sir to continue being um sexy, unique, unique and <laughs> and not and not and not stand for sexy unique robots. Right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Although sometimes I do kind of feel like a robot when I'm out there. Like literally, it's just auto <laughs> You know, just. <laughs> but yeah. So okay. Um. Oh my gosh, I had a question. Yeah. And then it completely left my brain. <laughs> it's gonna come back. It's gonna See, come back. That's where you need AI. <laughs> just oh hell no. Just fo- that would be so funny. <laughs> just follow. Just follow the gluten free breadcrumbs because we are in LA. <laughs> right. Follow the gluten free breadcrumbs. All the way back to the original. Okay. Yeah. No. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reprogram. Do you have any advice for younger singers? Any advice for younger singers? I, I would just say um, the number. Well, don't believe this. Um, the age, the the age old rule that um, you know that you can't express your your beliefs on anything because that's untrue. Mm-hmm. That's untrue. Like the number one rule in this industry is to be yourself, mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, you can't express your your beliefs whether that be sexual political spiritual Mm -hmm. but it's it's all about and it's all about how you do it um and as long as you're you're not harming anybody especially animals and children in Mm -hmm. in your process then you're then you're gonna be on your on your merry way to ultimately succeeding not for other people but for yourself Mm -hmm. and you don't have to be liked by everybody because when you're liked by you won't be liked yeah, when you're liked by everybody, you're a machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but you can be respected by people. Like there, there are people that that are very, very passionate, but you know, they have different opinions than than I do. But I respect the fact that they're willing to stand some for, stand for something. Mm-hmm. Because when you don't stand for something, you'll fall, fall for, for anything. anything. Mm-hmm. I grew up with that. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. the respect is very important. You don't and have to that, agree all the time, but yeah. So. Um, yeah, not not being not being a little Switzerland wallflower cuz yes. especially in in this industry you got to stand up. The wallflowers yeah. get walked all over. Yes, it's so true. Yes. You got to get it. <laughs> like yeah. you got to go. Yeah. You have to kill what you eat. Yeah, is so to speak. Yeah, and being being methodical mm-hmm. really pays off too mm-hmm. because if you're just shooting from the hip all the time doing this, this it's like you're going to feel you're going to feel like you don't have like there's not a rove carve carved out Mm -hmm. but if you're methodical that means that you're carving out your own road absolutely so and i feel like um intuition too is intuition is very key 
and yeah. following your gut, you know, and knowing when something is amiss or something is right for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so you'll know the difference and trusting yourself, too. Uh-huh. I used to never be able to trust my gut because I didn't trust me. Like, I didn't love myself. So I felt like, oh, Danny, you know, all oh, this, that, you, you know, you're just... You know, I would talk myself out of what I knew what was true in my heart using my logic and, mm-hmm. you know, and using Trusting reason. other people think of you. Exactly. Of, yeah. You know who you but are. That's what, exactly. But that's what these these people mm-hmm. will do. They will, they'll, they'll actually, they won't be, they, sometimes they won't be doing the gaslighting mm-hmm. directly, but they'll have you then gaslight yourself. Yes, <laughs> and question, and second and question. But you know what is the worst? Yeah. Sometimes the people close to you, they gaslight you. Because people you don't know, you don't know then. They yeah. don't, don't affect you. They don't have an you, you know? You. But sometimes yeah. like your relationship or your friends mm-hmm. or even your family, you know, these are the ones that we need to be careful. Yes, even yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. the ones that are closest to you, the enemies yes. are in your own household sometimes. Mm-hmm. Is what they because they know where all the trap doors are. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, but that's not saying all family is bad, but it's just no, saying, no, no, yeah, you know? no, 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 yeah, <laughs> we not love s- family. Yeah, no, so, yeah, you better I, watch those people. No, yeah, <laughs> as, a, as a traditional woman, I value the family unit. Yes, um, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this is what I was going to ask you. Um, Serving with Purpose is a podcast yes. that Carolina, you you know, she um, created, and it's geared toward... Um, created. Yeah, mm-hmm. I always give her the credit. I mean, it was yeah. her idea. It really was. But because I was already serving, if she, you know, it was just a perfect fit. Mm-hmm. So the foundation I work with is my friend's house foundation. She works with comfort cases. Is Are there any... Organi- oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Was I saying hi to Oh, you? I like comfort <laughs> cases. <laughs> are there any um, foundations or organizations that... Um, that you believe in um, that are mm. close to your heart? Um, I, well, the, the cause, cause is the, the, yeah. the, 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 the mm-hmm. two, the two causes that are very close to my heart are the one, the veterans mm. and also um, fighting a, against uh, human and child trafficking. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. cause it's so, I mean, it's some, it's such an issue in today's, you know, in yeah, time. that's and it's not and it's not mainstream enough. But why? we know why, and I'm not going to get into it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, let's get into it. No. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you say veteran. Did anyone serve in your close to you? Well, my uh, my grand uh, my great grandparents um, in in Europe they they served. Mm-hmm. So, but no one in my immediate family was uh, a served for the the U S. But I, I just see the veterans as our modern day superheroes. We're very, very thankful nice. for yeah. the freedom of this country. Yes. We love you and we appreciate you. She's yeah. from Brazil. Mm-hmm. And so she says, you know, she speaks a lot about the stark contrast mm-hmm. and all mm-hmm. of the benefits of living in the States versus in Brazil. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she's always. And saying, I love Brazil and all oh, no. the people. Oh, no. I miss my family. I wish Brazil. things were different. San Paulo, <laughs> yes. let's go. <laughs> we're going. We're going for the carnival. You're invited. Carnival. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm shopping for feathers now, child. <laughs> Okay. I'd love to, <laughs> but I love it here. I'm very thankful to America. I love this country. Please don't hate America. Yes, <laughs> yeah. no. give them the credit of the good things here. Some things, you know, supposed to be changing. Nothing is perfect, but it's so much better than many other countries in the world. Just be thankful for where you are and every good thing this country has, and I fight agree. for the things you want to change. Absolutely. Free, freedom is freedom. Mm-hmm. It is yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh yeah. my goodness, it's yeah. been amazing. So where can we find you? What are you oh, working on friends. next? Uh, wait, wait. What are you working on next? Yeah. <laughs> or who am I working on next? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kendra Erica. I thought things were private. <laughs> Tell us. <No. laughs> I got She's the best jokester. Her sense of humor is out of this world. We clicked since day one. I know. <laughs> well, I told I said, I said, Danny, I said, you bring the Hennessy, I'll bring the vodka. I know. I was like, yes. And I was like, I got you, but I drink tequila, though. (laughs) I'll bring the Henny and the tequila, okay? The Casamico and all that. Yes. Um, 
But uh, what am I working on? Well, I have a new song dropping mm-hmm. September 13th. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Tell us. Tell That's me. so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. I've been I've been performing it here and there at Sir. So yes. just just doing that light indoctrination. Yes, I know? love that. You better plant that seed, girl. So, Get us already, you know, knowing the words, singing along. Uh, but the song is called Body Language. Ooh. And uh, the video is pretty on the caliente side oh i love it um and i want to be in a music video uh, i know <laughs> if anybody's launching a video clip call us yeah <laughs> she wants to yeah be you on too. the caliente set <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and what's cool what's cool about body language is that it's being released through um drum roll please through sony so Woo! Yeah. that's major yeah. oh that's major baby and so that's that's coming out september 13th and then <laughs> i have i have a, a another jazz song uh that i'm following up body language with because uh, mm. i'm i'm in both both lanes right now i'm in the dance lane and then also in the jazz lane as well because mm. i want to pay homage to my my roots that i told you about the uh-huh. In, yes. in Boca, uh-huh. yes, um, and and then I have another uh, a concept album that I'm working on too. Don't want to say too much about that, right. but I, it's in the works. Yes, and I have more more film projects in, in the works as well. More shows. I have a, a show September 28th in Santa Fe Springs. Yes, I know uh, exactly where that is. So <laughs> I, <laughs> it's it's down by Whittier. Yeah, I was uh, about to say it's up to five. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a yes. show September 28th in Santa Fe Springs, and uh, you can continue catching me at Sir every Tuesday. Yes. yes. And she kills it. When you I tell you she face. kills it, she kills it, you guys. She's such a performer. She's, oh, well, Yes. You. Every time she comes around, I'll be at the table, and I'm like, ah, hey, girl, I'll stop right in the middle of my order. <laughs> your love, your love. <laughs> Okay, I was terrible. <laughs> Why don't you no. sing us a yes. little something? Give us a little yes. something. Oh, no. come on. No, I will. I will. Okay. I, I was will. like, you got a mic. Come yeah. on. You ain't I new will. to this. You true to yeah. this. Just, I, I have to get over that that initial, oh, can you sing us a song like, okay. ba- like bashful face? Right, you know? right. Like, oh, yeah. stop. It's really, I, I thought got, you never ask. No. I got, I, I got, I got to get out of bashful and, 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 and get into doc mode. I love it. Let's go. Let's, let's okay, go. Okay, everybody, you know, yeah, stay tuned for this, <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful rendition of whatever she's about to sing to us. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Superficial, vacant eyes on the living, socialize. I see potential in your mind. Touch me softly, it's not a crime. No more apologies. You're fine inside of me, a deeper love, a deeper faith. A deeper love, trust all the balance of your ways. A deeper dive to sink or swim. And a well of she said, she said, don't give a fuck about him. A deeper love. Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know that one. Yes, that's one of my favorites. Yes. Okay, so tell, well, everyone, first of all, give it up for Kendra Erica. Let's go. Thank yes. you. Okay. Um, so tell everyone where we can find you and all your music. Uh, you can find me at KendraErica.com, on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram at Kendra Erica, TikTok, Spotify, YouTube. SoundCloud, SoundCloud, YouTube. LinkedIn. Oh wow! I I'm also on X. Yes. True Social, Telegram. Yes. Um, Come on, Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, That's the underground. Uh, the only the, <laughs> I know the only the only one that I'm not on is OnlyFans. And yeah, that's yeah. good. And we yeah, can stop we, it there. We can, yeah. yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm I don't not, hate. No hate. Yeah. On but that, you can but... do just music, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, but you know, hey, it's, Gianna, yeah, no, no, yeah. no uh, I, I'm, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I, I made, I made my decision, my executive decision. Um, and just, just Google me. <laughs> just Google me. Just Google, Google me. I'm gonna use that. Just Google me. <laughs> yeah, or, or whatever your preferred search engine is. Oh, um, come on. Yeah. I love it. You are yeah. amazing. Thank you so gosh. much, Kendra, for yes. coming. Oh, oh my that's gosh. So much fun. We had so and much fun with you, and yeah. I knew you guys come to Sarah every Tuesday to see all of us. Yeah, yes. they're gonna be every working. Tuesday. I'm gonna be drunk. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll be drunk too, <laughs> just because I'm working. No. Yeah. I won't tell Guillermo. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell. No. Him. Okay. Tanner, say hi. Show your pretty face. Oh, Thank you, Tanner. Up, everyone. Hello. I see you. Hello, everybody. Oh, Tanner. Thank Look you. at Tanner <laughs> behind the scenes. He makes Tanner. all of it happen. We call him the Oz. <laughs> He's the Oz. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my stepkids and dedicate this show to Dan, Antonio, and Janaina. I miss you guys and I love you. And I'm very happy that you guys are doing well. And we're going to see you next Tuesday or Thursday, Reality Network or here. Any messages? Um, you shout out. Click you like so and many. subscribe <laughs> and comment on Serving with Purpose. Yes, uh, you're serving your purpose. And please. you guys keep watching. Part of the profits are going to our organizations, Comfort Cases and my friend's house foundation. Absolutely. If you guys want to help down here. And I next week last week I fostered a dog from Vanderpump Dogs. That was an amazing experience. So if you guys are in the LA area and you have this time to spare one week, a couple weeks so the dog can get it, you know, around the house. That's going to make their adoption much more successful. So if you guys have some time, open your house, open your hearts. Say goodbye to Kendra Erica. She was amazing. Thank I you, thank Kendra. you so much for gracing us with your presence. You were amazing. Aww. Always knew you would be. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait to have you on the show. I was so excited. Yes, I really was. I'm like, oh, my God, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, my boo thing. Thank you for having me be a part of the fun. Of course, of course, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Um, click like and subscribe. I'm serving with purpose. And we see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>